next video so today i will be showing you how to display a linear gradient uh, inside your uh, react native app we, with uh, the new architecture using fabric uh, so this video is for ios we will be using objective c plus plus and this video also we won't be using any third party dependency so first of all create a bare bones react native project next we have to enable uh, the new architecture for this uh, react native project so go to the documentation and for ios you can see we have to run this command inside your ios directory so as soon as you run this command you might face an issue so there are two issues which you can face first is this if you face something like this then you can go cd back to your project and run this command okay once that is done you can again cd back to your ios directory and try running this command back again if you still get an error then i'm sure this it could be an error like this so i already have a video explaining in detail how to resolve this issue but you can have a look at this stack overflow post as well and you might try running this uh, which can resolve your issue or you can try looking at the other answers as well once that is done once this uh, command is run successfully you can run try running yarn ios and it will uh, show you in your metro bundler that fabric colon true if you see this that means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native project next we will go into the fabric native components and it tells you that you have to create a folder called rtn center text and it mentions that create this folder outside your project but according to me this is incorrect you should create this folder inside your project so i have created a folder called rtn my linear gradient okay give name according to your choice but make sure the name is consistent everywhere in the app next i have created android ios and js folder forget about the generated folder next we have to create uh, a ts file in our js folder and it should have this interface so i have created a ts file again name is important it should be native my linear gradient dot ts so this name should depend on uh, the folder name now here i have copied everything from the documentation the things which i have changed is this name should be changed and uh, here in linear gradient we want to send an array of uh, colors which are of type string right so that's why in the interface i have taken it something like this once that is done go to your package.json uh, so i will show you yeah so for package.json create a package.json file okay next uh, change the i have copied everything from the documentation again but change the uh, names according to what do you have so here it would the name would be rtn dash my linear dash gradient this should change the next thing is uh, this should change rtn my linear gradient spec if you want you can change it over here here and here as well but these are like github url links so it doesn't matter next you have to create a pod spec file make sure the package.json file is not within the js folder it should be a sibling to the js folder similarly the pod spec file should not be in your ios folder it should be a sibling to your ios folder or js folder okay again i have copied pasted everything from the documentation pay attention to the file name and this h dot name should change okay this should be your name uh, we will cover android for as well in this uh, video itself like i don't want to create two separate videos uh, so for android you have to create build.gradle so again i have copy pasted everything from the documentation the things which i have changed is i have added this apply plugin because i want to use kotlin and not java next change the namespace so this name space, namespace should change name should change according to your folder name and i have also added the kotlin standard lib in our dependency section <coughs> next to be careful go to the main android folder as well go to build.gradle and add this kotlin version and add this as well class path next go to app build.gradle and here also we will add apply plugin kotlin android and 
as well as you have to add it over here as well the kotlin standard look next you have to create this folder type so i have already created it so i will close this so android src main java com rtn my linear gradient again the file naming is important next you have to create this file my linear gradient package dot kt so they have specified over here uh, you have to create this file again this file is in java my file it is in kotlin but for now so you can copy paste everything from this just make sure instead of this line you just uh, write over here return empty list okay so this should be something like this we will change it later on but for code generation to work for now it should be written empty list okay so write this written empty list save it now what you have to do is we have we will now try to run code gen so for ios what you have to do we have to run this command but make sure you does not don't use double dot we have to use single dot because our folder is already inside the project they have created the folder outside the project that's why they are using double dot but in our case it would be a single dot so go so I, I have written this command so you have to run this command inside the root of your project next what you have to do is so suppose my app is in is created on the desktop right so i would cd dot dot and then i will run this command so you have to run this command but uh, you can found find that command over here as well but there is some changes in the command this should be your project name this should be your project name and here also we need to add our project name because our rtn my linear gradient is inside the project name and if you see it over here they have not added their project name because their folder is outside the project name so just run this and it will create this generated folder for ios or for your project okay you can read more about this over here next uh, so for ios we have to create these three files a header file and two objective c plus plus files so go to your ios folder rtn my linear gradient again i have copy pasted everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is rtn my linear gradient has been changed okay the file name then create rtn my linear gradient manager again copy pasted from the documentation the only thing that has been changed is the naming rtn my linear gradient rtn my linear gradient and these are rct export view property because we are passing a color array of color so ns array it will be color next we have, we will be creating rtm my linear gradient dot mm so this is where the actual code would be again most part i have copied it from the documentation so this should be copied from documentation only the file name would be changed everything is called till here everything is copied from the documentation again the file name here make sure the file name are changed this should be file name should be changed this should file name should be changed again here file name should be changed then we are taking a vi ui view and ca gradient layer so ca gradient layer will help us to uh, ma uh, create a uh, gradient layer for our uh, ios project and which we can use on our react native side so again this has been copied from documentation make sure the file name has been changed over here so this is where the initialization code runs so we are creating a uh, again this is copied from documentation here we are creating a ui view we are creating the gradient layer then we are masking it to bounds then we are creating a start point and end point and then we are adding that layer to our view okay again this has been copied from documentation uh, so this method has been copied from documentation this has been copied from documentation make sure this name has been changed and here what we are trying to do is that so you in react native supports fast refresh right so suppose you are changing colors on the fly on react native side Th that's why this code logic has been written checking whether the old color is equal to the new color or not if it is not equal then we are trying to run this ns mutable array so we are first getting the array to whatever color the user has passed then we are doing a for loop over it then we are converting that array into a string so for each color we are converting it to a string then uh, like even i don't understand much of this but what it basically it does is that we are converting it to a color array 
and then applying all this color arrays to our gradient dot colors next apply layout matrix so suppose you are changing the style height and width continuously from react native side so we need to override this method apply layout matrix so that uh, the ios side knows that we have changed the width and height and accordingly change the width and height on uh, on your mobile device as well and this again has been copied from documentation make sure the file name has been changed okay next so we have already created this this and this next for android again we already run this command but if you want you can try run it again so go to app.tsx and you have to run this okay and it should be a single dot and file name should be folder name should be whatever you have written and uh, so you can run this command this command in two ways so either you can cd to your android folder and directly run this but for me due to some configuration issue i'm not able to run it from my terminal so what i do is that go open this main android folder inside android studio let android studio build and sync uh, and update the indexes so it might take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your hardware and then open the terminal of your android studio and run this command dot gradle w so once you run this command it will do, do code generation for android as well so if you want to check open node modules uh, go to rt and my linear gradient so here you can see in android src sorry android generated uh, wait i think there might be some issue i think uh, it might have deleted that folder but i had ran this command yesterday and it is working so don't worry about it and i think you should see a uh, build folder i guess this is not sure why i am not able to see that folder but you should be able to see something like this which they have mentioned once you see this uh, we have to write this uh, code as well so go to your android folder create these two files my linear gradient my linear gradient manager so first we will update my linear gradient package and update this line of code so you have to write this then in my linear gradient manager again i have copy pasted it from the documentation uh, but the only thing which has been changed is the naming so this would be my linear gradient manager and of course i have converted the java code to kotlin code this should be my linear gradient this is rt and my linear again this is like boilerplate code for every uh, react natives uh, fabric component and check the name please check the name it is correct or not should be same as the folder name and here we are creating the instance of my linear gradient and we are getting this prop right from react native side and we are just mapping over that prop and displaying the prop over here so we are just mapping over the prop and whatever the view is which has been created in my linear gradient we are setting the background color to gradient drawable the only thing which you have to notice is that this code works from android n so nougat uh, nougat or nougat however you pronounce it and so i think it is fine if you uh, update your min hdk version to nougat or by the time you check i think six months seven months from now it is fine because i think everyone for android is now using at least oreo or pi at least all android users as far as i know they are using uh, oreo or pi so minimum of hdk version you have to change it to uh, i will tell you what where you have to change it so go to android build.gradle uh, and build.gradle wait so here you have to change the min hdk version to 24 at least otherwise uh, the, this will throw you an error this will throw an error for you okay and here we are just getting those colors from string and mapping it over and color converting it to the colors which are required on the kotlin side and then assigning it assigning it to our view and in my linear gradient dot kt we are just uh, you know imp getting implementing all the properties of view so we are just extending the view
okay next uh, again you have to run this command so once you are done uh, open your terminal and run this command make sure you are on the root of your react native project and for ios you have to run this command so cd ios and run this command so the, it would create a pod of your file uh, next what you have to do is okay now last is app.tsx so this is how you would import the file import your library rtn my linear gradient and here i am just occupying the full width and height so i am using the use windows dimension and i am passing the color so you can pass whatever color you want so there is one bug for android so and i i'm not sure whether it is for ios as well but uh, you can't write any react native component inside this so if you are some suppose you write something like this right so it won't work on android so i i'm not sure why like i do have a question on it on stack overflow as well i will show you that question but i never got gotten a proper uh, reply for it so if you know you can reply it uh, in the comments or let me know in the uh, stack overflow post so i will show you see uh, this is the post which i had created uh, no no not this sorry yeah i think it was this one yeah i think so it... yes yes yeah yeah this is the one where uh, the child compo if you try to add a child component you will face an issue but uh, we can easily overcome this what you could do is add just a position property to this i think uh, how do you position absolute in react native like even i forgot about this child position absolute react native So yeah i think this should work okay so you can add something like this and make sure the left uh, right top bottom is equal to zero and uh, if you and the other components you can add it inside a react fragment or a react view right so you can add something like this text one two three so this should work for you so yeah i guess that's it uh, the source code would be in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.